el chisme. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host Danny Flores. If you're new here, make sure that subscribe button, that little bell right next to it, that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and comment down below. Guys, what's good? Welcome back to a brand new Cheese Report. Damn, I don't know. It feels like I've been off the internet for like a month. But yes, if you guys did not know, I was on vacation for a whole week. I was actually in San Diego. I had a good ass time. But guys, I'm here. I'm back again. Back to work because I know there was not that much cheese made, but at the same time, there was cheese because y'all were sending me blowing up my phone kind of about this whole uh lc thing about you know shyla about catherine but today's report specifically we're going to be talking about shyla and catherine mcbroom guys shyla actually kind of responded to landon's video on an instagram post and then catherine mcbroom um i don't know what happened like she posted up a whole last video about her surgery but before we get into it guys go get your snacks come back sit back and relax so for our first story of the day, guys, we're going to be talking about Shyla because, you know, this whole Landon and Shyla back and forth has been going on for a long time. I want to say over five months. And let me tell you, it's kind of sad. But at the same time, it pretty much turned into entertainment for everyone here on YouTube because a lot of channels are, are covering it. After Landon actually posted up his truth, um, Shyla actually posted this whole as like Instagram um, novel. I don't even say novel, but it was a long caption. I'm not going to read it for you guys. If you guys want to read it, hit that pause button and read it yourself. But this is what she said. So she's basically telling her followers to, you know, believe women because women do get abused, guys. And don't get me wrong, guys do as well. Um, they get physically and verbally abused. In this situation, guys, we know, well, at least some of us know who the real victim is in this whole relationship because, you know, as many of you um, have sides, I have a side. Um, ever since I heard Shyla's story, I do tend to believe her story more, but we're not going to get into that because I know I'm going to get all these comments saying, oh my God, how could you believe her, but not Landon? Guys, that's that's a whole separate video or you know what that's not even a video because i made a lot of videos of why i think i'm on shyla's side also while i was on vacation katherine mcbroom actually came out with a weird video you know she had this surgery on her arms and basically people were confused because they were like okay you're you're spending this much money but your house is up for auction like what the hell is going on but i honestly think this was like an ad a uh, paid advertisement because maybe this company or this surgeon that did her arms was like okay you get this for free and you just have to shout me out in your video do a whole last video of why you did this or why you wanted this and just give me a little shout out you know that's how people get things done nowadays through social media that's how people get paid um you know just for shout outs which i mean it works sometimes but at the same time you need your money shout outs don't pay your bills so it's like 50 50 on it the thing i found weird about her video was that you know she talks about you know she wanted to upload this video on her main channel but her channel's not ready like you mean it's not ready like like honestly you just have to start up your channel make a google account and just post videos you know, people are gonna find out about you just link your channel in the description of your ace family video i don't know just start your own channel you don't have to give us all these excuses of why it's not ready it doesn't make sense at this point but it was kind of weird that she posted one of these videos on the ace family channel which that channel is supposed to be a family channel while this whole surgery was going on catherine actually faced timed her family i don't even know if she was numb hi. oh my god hi mommy <laughs> what i'm doing it right now oh my god really i feel nothing what? literally i feel nothing really yes oh my god and they gave me laughing gas and i might have taken it a little bit too much but i literally yeah. feel nothing really I love you. This is mommy. I love you too. Mom, she has more say. Hi, mommy. Hi, beautiful baby. What happened to your finger, my love? Baby. Are you almost done? Um, soon. I'll call you when I'm almost done. Hi, my love. Mom, where are you? 
I can't handle pain as well um, as other people, but I know in that moment, I wouldn't be FaceTiming anyone. I'll be in pain. That thing looked like it hurt, but I don't know. I've honestly never gotten something like that. I thought they would put you to sleep, but apparently not. Catherine has time to FaceTime her family, which a... Hey, Whew. which once again might be part of this whole deal this whole ad you know and then talking about the ace family guys um i know some of you guys or many of you guys are aware that the freaking ace family auction um actually got postponed once again to uh, the 19th october 19th to be exact just a quick refresher in case you guys don't remember what happens here um, these people buy foreclosure houses. All these houses are more than 90 days late on their payments. These are the people that I think Catherine's referring to that it's sad that they're losing their home. Usually these are, you know, hardworking people that fell on hard times, couldn't make their payment. These aren't usually the houses of people that scam their fans and like, you know, do fake charity shit or they don't pay boxers or like they take advantage of their kids to make money. You know, so these are the ones I think that's actually sad that they lose their house. So not a fan of this one, but I am going to be a fan of the one that happens at 1030. I'm going to go over there and just see what's cracking. That's it. No! In LA. It's postponed again? Yes, 4838, 4830, 4846, vacant land. Well, that fucking sucks. Yeah. And they are postponing it to October 19th. October 19th. Do they say why or they don't say why? Is it common that they just keep pushing it back and back? They can for a year. Oh, really? First day that starts, they can do that for you. Okay. So you guys and I are gonna have to wait probably another few days to actually hear, well actually no. So basically tomorrow the 19th is when the house auction is gonna go off. You know, I don't even know why they keep postponing it. At this point, it's getting annoying. Like damn, like just, just sell the damn house already. But guys, what do you guys think about this whole Catherine situation? Because I know a lot of people were like, why is she getting surgery? You know, she supposedly works out. I don't know guys, it's just a lot of people opinions on the internet but let me know what you guys think down below but guys i'm glad to be back um it was a long week so back to the grind back to uh, monday through friday videos hopefully you guys do watch all of them because you guys are ogs and once again guys i am coming out with some merch so stay tuned for that i want to say in the next month or two months um you know i'm still getting stuff ready yesterday i actually packed some stuff you know it took me like two hours to pack but hey i'm glad i got those all packed up uh, i'm not gonna show you yet because it's a surprise but once i do guys once i come out with it obviously i'm gonna show you i'm gonna have a whole ass video about it but thank you guys so much for watching and yeah like i said i'm back if you're new here subscribe comment you know everything down below thank you guys so much my name's danny and i'm out peace